Hey everyone, welcome back to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie, and I've got some Spider-Man PS4 news to share with you. We're going to be talking about the new Velocity Suit that just got released. It was announced and revealed about a couple days ago, but there was just a lot going on. It was Comic-Con weekend, and there's a lot of trailers coming out, and it was hard for me to keep up, so I had to post videos on those trailers as soon as they got released. And this Marvel Spider-Man PS4 limited edition bundle and the Velocity Suit was not a priority anymore. So I kind of figured I'd do a video on those first, more importantly over, and then I'd get to this one. And now is my opportunity to do this one, and right after I'm going to get to my PS4 gaming. I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human, Kingdom Hearts, and of course the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, which I missed last week. I apologize for that. But Moving on, so let's go ahead and talk about the Velocity Suit. So not much known is about this suit because this suit will make its first debut in this game. It's never appeared in comic books. However, a comic book artist did draw this suit and it looks awesome. It's like somebody took the red Power Ranger suit and uh, one of the suits from Tron Legacy and combined them and out came this, the Velocity Suit. So it says here, the hype for the PlayStation 4 exclusive Spider-Man game continues to grow as the release date for the game is now only two months away. Recently, an exclusive PlayStation 4 Pro bundle, which I'm gonna get to in a second, a new story trailer and the classic Spider-Man costume, among various other things, have all been revealed. The next big surprise that Insomnia Games has finally unveiled is the third and final pre-order bonus Spider-Man suit that players can look forward to using in the upcoming game. So keep in mind that there's not only going to be three new alternative costumes for Spider-Man. Remember there's going to be a little over 20 of them, so you get to pick and choose. You're not only limited to these three costumes. So the costumes that we have so far is the Spider-Punk, the Iron Spider from Infinity War, and of course now the recently revealed Velocity Suit. So very recently, Insomniac Games has tweeted a short video montage of the three suits that come as a pre-order bonus, which you can see right here, and I'm showing you right now in this clip. The montage includes the previously unveiled Velocity Suit, which is accompanied by the Iron Spider Suit featured in Avengers Infinity War, just like I mentioned about a few moments ago, and the Spider Punk Suit. The Velocity Suit glows in some parts, and its special ability is that it allows Spider-Man to power up and get around Manhattan faster than usual. Hence, velocity it's in the name i kind of figured it had to do something with speed so the speed of ability of the suit is bound to come in handy considering some of the sticky situations that spider-man might find himself in so here and according to the tweet the velocity suit was designed by andy granov who has illustrated the covers of countless comic books and designed the keyframe artwork for the 2008 iron man film the velocity suit is certainly striking with its blue lights and metallic finish as is showcased in the video other confirmed suits that spider-man will be able to wear Later in the game include the Advanced Suit, which is seen in all the promotional material for the game, the aforementioned Classic Spider-Man costume, of course, and the Spider-Man Noir suit. So those suits are also confirmed. I'm a Classic Spidey fan. I'm probably going to be playing this game with the Classic Spider-Man costume. It's clear from all the promotional material released thus far that Spider-Man is aiming to do right by fans, and it could even become one of the biggest games this year. Following the success of God of War released a few months ago, it certainly has been a great year for Sony and for PlayStation exclusive games, and I could not agree more. Spider-Man releases on September 7th, 2018, exclusively for PlayStation 4. So this is really exciting. I cannot wait to try out this Velocity suit and be swinging around New York City at high velocity, pun intended. So we move on to the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man Limited Edition, and it's been revealed. So introducing the Limited Edition Marvel Spider-Man PS4 Pro bundle. So we have quotes here. Can't wait to run along walls and swing through Manhattan in the upcoming Marvel Spider-Man. Us too. Today, we're thrilled to announce the limited edition Marvel Spider-Man PS4 Pro bundle launching alongside the game on September 7th, 2018. And this is from the PlayStation website. The special bundle includes a fully customized Amazing Red. That's right, the name of the color is Amazing Red. One terabyte PS4 Pro console featuring the iconic Marvel Spider-Man Spider and matching DualShock 4 wireless controller Marvel Spider-Man game on Blu-ray disc. This limited edition bundle will be available across the US and Canada for $399 MSRP and pre-orders start today, meaning a couple days ago when it was just announced. On the PS4 Pro, 4K TV owners can experience Marvel Spider-Man in 2160p dynamic 4K resolution achieved through temporal injection that showcases intricate details of the architecture of Marvel's New York and detailed Marvel characters. HD TV owners will benefit from the game's built-in super sampling with increased image clarity and detail. I don't have a 4K TV, 
but um, I do have an HD TV and I do use super sampling and it still looks really good. Meanwhile, if your TV supports high dynamic range, you'll experience vibrant special effects like Mr. Negative's negative powers and brilliant lighting across a picturesque Manhattan. Feel the power of Spider-Man's improvisational combat, fluid urban traversal, dynamic acrobatics, and environmental interactions with the special edition console this fall. So really exciting. I think this PS4 Pro is gorgeous. It's almost exactly as I thought it was gonna look like. I picture the Spider-Man PS4 limited edition bundle, if it were to come out at the time, that it'd be completely red, like really hot, like a hot rod red color. And it would have like a white Spider-Man logo somewhere on it. Except I probably pictured the spider logo to be facing the opposite direction, not the way it's placed here. Like instead of it being placed from like left to right, I pictured like the head being on the top from up to down. So I thought it would look cooler like that. If it's all the same, I think it looks nice the way it is right there. That color is nice. Uh, the controller, I don't know about the whites on the uh, D-pad and the control sticks and the buttons. I would have preferred them to have them black and maybe make the R1 and L2 and L1 L2 buttons white. It would have been perfect like that. But nonetheless, it looks fine. I like it. I love the PS4 Pro. Doesn't really warrant the $400, however, because I already have a PS4 Pro in black the normal version and i love my ps4 pro i just can't dish out another 400 dollars to get another ps4 pro because it's it's a limited edition and i honestly don't need it so i can't be spending that kind of money so that's practically a car payment so anyways guys these are awesome news i love that spider-man's getting a limited edition i think it's sufficient enough that i'm getting the collector's edition that's all i really need that's a spider-man as i can get <laughs> and for one of you lucky winners out there you're gonna get the collector's edition if i pick you as the winner on august 31st and remember guys from doing the giveaway the second winner will win a collector's box of spider-man trinkets and stuff like that and the third winner will be a bonus if i reach 700 subscribers by august 31st and they will win a copy of the standard edition spider-man game so anyways guys thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please i'd appreciate it if you leave a like comment down below click on bell notifications so you don't miss anything and subscribe for more as always guys thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next comic panel